getting ready to leave here in about a week go back to Kansas be getting back here after Thanksgiving and the way the uh, senior games uh, have been done in the past uh, I assume will be the way they'll be done in 2008 which would mean that we'll get back here in time that if you want to you can practice a little on various things and the actual competitions are in the month of January on into February. Donna says I love to compete too much. Well, probably do. Always enjoy a game of anything. Still do. Love to play cards. The two of us play a lot of two-handed spades and uh, a two-handed domino game and uh, we never get angry as far as I know but we do try to beat the other one and it's a fair match. I wouldn't say I win more, I wouldn't say she wins more, but it's competitive. I like that. This shirt that I have on is the official shirt for last year. Yuma, Arizona, Senior Games. Every year you pay your fees and you get a current t-shirt and a little pass to help you at the uh, Home Depot, a couple of little gimmies that the various advertisers, the back's got advertisements on it, helps defray the cost of running the program. Well, when I was first getting involved, I can't remember if I got involved before I was 65, probably not, because I was working full time. But in the late 60s, in my 70s, I greatly admired the older fellas. Two or three of them that come to mind include Tom. I can't remember Tom's last name this very minute, but Tom and uh, <laughs> yeah, it's tough to get old and have your memory play tricks on you. One of the fellas that I'll think of his name here after a bit competed in the Drake Relays as a college student way back there. And he competed in almost everything. This kid he wants about it didn't see you out practicing in December and he said, hey, at my age, you save it for the event. You don't waste it on practice. Well, this year will be my first year in the 80 plus, so I'll be a youngster in my age group. Every year that you're the youngster in your age group is usually your best year in that age group because every year is taking a little bit out of you. You don't really notice it, but time takes its toll. Just got back from going to pick up Donna at the uh, local Walmart mile down the road. I even rode in one of those carts, powered carts. Boy, I'm telling you, I've been doing yard work, and it, it just about wears me out to work in the backyard and have to walk to the front yard. If I can stay bent over, my back doesn't give me much trouble. But boy, when I have to stand straight, the spondylosis or whatever they call it, where my backbone's not straight, it talks to me, and it doesn't use polite language. My most success has been, of course, in the sport that I was the best at, and that was basketball. Second was in softball, and you know, those are the two sports that I played the longest and the hardest over my uh, adult, young adult life. But the only time I won the first prize, other than once I think in dominoes, and can't remember if I won once in uh, a card game called Pinochle or not, but if not I got up close to the top. Uh, but the only times I've won the championship has been on free throws. And as we've gotten older, they let you shoot the free throws at about uh, two-thirds the distance of normal, or if you want to, you can shoot it at the normal range. Over the years, I have competed in shoot-offs at least five times. 
because I'd be tied to somebody either for the first place, most frequently for the first place, talking about free throws, and uh, won about half of those shoot-offs and lost about half. Had another shoot-off this last year, and it was for our, I think, uh, second place. Win, lose, or draw, I enjoy the guys and I enjoy the competition. The, the uh, age taking a toll, Dana Buckles, the man that competed at the uh, Drake Relays, and Tom, I can't remember his last name right now, and a fellow we just had to, went by the nickname of Tex, they were always in that five to eight year span ahead of me, and I always admired him. And you know, we had the basketball long shots a few years ago, and Tom was having to really work to get the ball, enough hoop, enough leg behind it and so on, to get it up to the goal, and he fell over backwards and broke a leg. You know what? The next year they moved the long shots up a little for 75 plus. I usually do. I usually medal in both the free throws and the uh, the long shots. This year, because I'm going to be the kid in the class of 80 to 85. I may, if I'm not feeling so poor, I think I need to really sub to buy more gas. I may enter a whole lot of things just to see how I can do. But one thing for sure, everything I do, I will enjoy, and I will enjoy the guys I compete against and with. And I appreciate the City of Yuma Parks and Recreation Division having the program. And of course, I will compete again in the sport that I learned that I'd never heard of until last year. Can't even remember the name of the silly thing at this time, but it's sort of a combination of tennis and ping pong. You play it with a short-handled uh, racket, and you can really put the spin on that baby. And half the time, in trying to put the spin on it, you put it out of bounds. But oh, it is fun! It's fun. It's really fun to be at 80 and be able to get out and compete and enjoy it. If you're a, if you're a senior citizen and you've not heard of the senior games, I think they're in probably every community of any size across America, get out and give it a try. Be good for you. You have a good time.